Cincinnati travels to South Bend. How come South Bend how, and Notre Dame, how come they get all these games at home? Do they ever play a game on the road? You look at last week. Yeah, it was in Chicago. That's what, an hour drive from South Bend? Notre Dame needs to play somebody tough on the road, but I'll get off that bandwagon later. But looking at this game, Cincinnati is favored by two and a half points going into South Bend. They're fresh off a bye. They've had two weeks to prepare for Notre Dame. Notre Dame's coming off a huge, surprising win against Wisconsin last week, a very emotional win. They had to come back in the fourth quarter, scored on defense a couple of times. Jack Cohen's been injured. I don't know if he's going to play. If he doesn't play, they're going to go back to their third-team quarterback. But here's the question, Coach. Can this Notre Dame offensive line protect their quarterbacks because they're down to their third-team offensive tackle? I'm impressed by Notre Dame. They're getting better each and every week. But Desmond Ritter has been spectacular. He stepped up and made plays. He's thrown for seven touchdowns and only two interceptions on the year, but he can run the football and move the change. Jerome Ford, their running back, has done a terrific job, averaging over 100 yards per game. He's got six touchdowns on the season. I know Notre Dame has gotten better. They've impressed me the way they figure out how to play during the game and their in-game changes, but I'm going with Cincinnati, giving the two and a half. Notre Dame, Notre Dame can't keep going back and hoping that players will make these spectacular plays with pick sixes in the fourth quarter at the end of the game to win the game. It's going to come back to haunt them. I'm going with Cincinnati in this game, giving the two and a half, 29 to 20. <laughs> Notre Dame knows how to win, Mark. The first game I ever coached at William Mary was against Cincinnati at Denver Stadium. Now you're telling me they're going to beat Notre Dame at South Bend. That just Did you win that game, though? Did you win no, that we, game? We, we, we were in the game. We, we <laughs> lost it by five. I think we lost it then 26 to 21. But in any event, uh, Brian <laughs> Kelly's done a tremendous job. He's a winning against coach at Notre Dame, and he will add to that. Uh, this week. They, they they protect the football very well, Mark. They're at home and they're basically unbeatable at home. The biggest difference between Notre Dame down earlier in the year is their defense. Marcus Freeman was the defensive coordinator at Cincinnati last year, did a tremendous job, and Brian Kelly hired him. Let's also remember this. Brian Kelly was the head football coach at Cincinnati when Notre Dame hired him to come there. But they have gone from a 4-2-5 to a 3-3-5. They're just learning to make the adjustment. And for the last game and a half, they've been absolutely outstanding. Luke Fickle's done a tremendous job. He was the interim coach at Ohio State for one year, and he ended up at Cincinnati. The athletic director, former athletic director of Cincinnati, is now the athletic director in Southern Cal looking for a head football coach, and he may very well look to Luke Fickle. Very, very personable young man, and the players absolutely love him. Ritter is their whole offense, Mark. He passes and he runs as well. That is not going to bother Notre Dame. As I said, you know, Freeman was the defense coordinator at Cincinnati. He knows those players. There's no doubt in my mind that Notre Dame will win this game. And here's one other thing to remember, Mark. Everybody's on the Cincinnati bandwagon. Last year, they did not beat a Power 5 football team. This year, they played one Power 5 football team that was Indiana. They trailed most of the game. They made a big comeback, won it in the fourth quarter. So there's a big difference between playing in their conference and playing in South Bend. Notre Dame prevails in this football game, Mark, 31 to 10. 